All right, so we're going to do some new recordings. I have a lot of videos to upload. Uh, it's been hectic this week, so I ain't got a chance to upload as many videos as I want to. So I want to try and do it by this week, tonight, or tomorrow before Monday hits. So there's another one for the archives, and this talks about the 10 year killing of the North Caribbean University student, um, Chanel Norris. And yet, yeah, it barely made news yeah it, yeah i mean like it was in circulation for i don't know not that long and what the story was that chanel norris was was involved with a guy named bernard valentine who was both like much older than she was like she was 23 years 47 so yeah basically if you do that math like he was basically he was basically like in his 20s um, like it's trying to just do a look. Yeah, he was like basically basically twenty, twenty five or tw um or some sort of twenty twenty four by the time she was in diapers. Yeah, so there's a big age difference. So let us say like a he was a few years older, he'd ought to be her dad. So yeah, there was that dynamic. And from what's understood, that he. That um, he was a JDF soldier. He was, and she was um, a student at Northern Caribbean University, and she was set to graduate. And then the on a very fateful night, I believe, on about Sept um, se um, September two thousand August two thousand eleven two thousand ten, they had a very violent argument, and then he just flew into a rage and just killed her right on the spot. And I think. He, um, do um do to do after what happened. He tried to cover it up, but yeah, they, but JD um but the JCF were pretty much on the ball saying, nah, I'm nah, this dude, yeah, this dude, okay, this dude's story that they gave. He I think he gave us at um account that two people attacked, they attacked him and killed her, not him, and they were just saying, yeah, there's something no add up about that side. And two years later, he's charged and is sentenced to life in prison. Man, like I said, that's on his ass. No, no. The thing is, what was said mean about this? What led up to this? Cause okay, he's a age difference, and then they had a very, very unpleasant argument, which led to her him killing her fit of rage. And no, this is where it, where it gets even more. I won't say spookier, but like this is where the things start to apparently unravel. And again, this is from. Stuff that's been said, rumors have been said regarding the story. I think the full story was, and again, this is either correct or not correct, all right? This is what I've been, what was said about the story is that, and I think in some ways that this, this would be logical, is that, it, um, is that basically he, Bernard um, Valentine, what had been, was previously married to someone else. He got involved with this girl um chanel norris and and i think he said like he used to he was paying her way through through northern caribbean university and they said he bought her a car and was allegedly and he thinks that when what happens when you have these older men okay older people who have these get to these intimate relationships with these younger people and again i'm not going to say it's just about age too because <clears throat> but that is a factor let's not kid ourselves right there that usually know how it, how it goes like you have this older person who in a lot of cases should know better all right because they're cupcaking hard for someone who in who wouldn't give them the time of day under any normal circumstances and then what usually happens when the younger person get um pretty much gets what they need they pretty much dump the older person and us and the and usually goes and deals with be it goes to be the person they really want to be with, who's usually in their age group because that's what has been said is that she would be she was basically and again this is either true or not true right that she was seeing someone else or like dumped him for someone else i think they said that's what led up to him going to a fit of rage and, and basically killing her right there that he that is the alleged allegations that he that she had moved on to someone else or what they meant to say is that she was with someone else and you know what she he gave her the car she was about to graduate and about to go to business that said i no longer need this older guy and the guy didn't take it very well and he basically just ended her life right there and what i have to say about that no if this is true again 
this could be true or not true all right this that this guy like i said like this guy um bernard valentine is valentine i'm sorry i meant to say bernard valentine i didn't want to say bernard valentine is that this is that was that really worth it though i mean if that's what really went down according to according to what's being said do you really want to think you should have thrown away your life just like that to I me? Mean, like the guy is like in it was in late forties, so right now he'd be in his um late fifties now, so he's not really going to get out till like what he's in his late sixties. So it's like it's going to be three years short of twenty, uh, of seventy years old. So it's like you're, so basically your life's pretty much done because the wife who does he apparently had has long moved on since those like she. She and I think I don't know if he has any children or anything. Cause if he has any children, like they're this, they basically contributed to fact that he has no that their fa biological father is not in their life. Me unless he was like a dirtbag before before he killed this girl, and that they really didn't they really were probably glad to turn him left. Bear in mind that if he has children again. The relatives or friends of Bernard Ballantyne can confirm or not confirm that. You're basically, like I said, you did yourself a disservice by not having these, by not being children that because, again, you threw your life over a piece of pussy. And, again, that wasn't worth it, though. And and so on. And this is, like, was it really worth it throwing your life over this girl? Because, I mean, if she did do you dirty like that, all right, okay, the thing to do, first of all, is that I wouldn't have gotten involved with this girl in the first place. I mean, because, let's just be honest, a lot of older, older folks who get involved these much younger folks where you don't have to be their their children or grandchildren bear in mind that a lot of these younger folks aren't really there because they love you they doesn't they say okay we need some kind of financial we um we need basically um someone to be or or sorry not to what term look, i'm looking for um to, um someone someone to be their, their sugar daddies or sugar mommy mom mommies and they're not really looking at you and say, okay, I want to spend the rest of my life with this person. Nah, I am just needed someone to, um, someone to like help pay my way through, pay my way through life. And then when I no longer need me, I'm going to be the other person that I really want to be. I'm going to kick that person to the side. Because I think, remember the other arc um, story I did, which I didn't get a chance to do on, Mooney Cook Reed and her late husband was much younger. Allegations were there that that was the same deal. That he was with this older woman. And just for um just for um, the money she had, and then when she, when she got wise to the game, she probably said rather than just walking with Cotillas that she apparently hired someone to take him out and so on. And that's what I think that's what they're basically saying about this case now. And the thing is, don't get too mis twisted. I'm not saying that the girl deserved to be murdered, no me, because this is a girl who could have had her life, um, her who got robbed to live her full life and. That's tragic. Now, if she did do these things where she was just pr pretty much using this older guy, I mean, taking advantage of him, I can't co-sign that, though, I mean. Does that mean that she deserved to get a throat cut now? But if that's the case, again, that's pretty much a cautionary tale what happens when you try and use, play on people's emotions. And because some people are going to take it on the chin, go about their business, probably um, his curse under their breath and so on. Others pretty much turn. It just basically turns. It turns. It just reveal a very. That just brings a very dark side of them that can prove fatal to the person who tries, tried to play with their feelings. Just saying again, but, but this was a very. Um, I mean, again, this is not the first case we've had something like a, a, um, a love story gone wrong. But again there's a lot of object there's a lot to learn about this situation like for for bernard valentine though this guy you just ruined your life through your life on a piece of pussy because again when this guy gets out he's going to be in his 70s unless he gets early parole or so on which but again but then like i said he's eligible for parole in 20 years so that's basically uh he's basically going to be, not going to be out of prison anytime soon he's going to be he, like I said, if he has any tr children or so on, I'm betting he may or may not. They're probably not going. They're probably 
um, gone about their business. His former wife, if that's if he had a wife before this girl, she's long gone, moved on since then. She's most likely moved on to another man and is probably just doing her thing, whatever she's doing and so on. Like she's barely even thinking about this guy anymore. And don't know if his family or friends are pretty still visiting behind bars, but. But that's probably only contact with outside world he's pretty much going to have at this point. But, he, but the thing is, even he, if he's smart at this point, has learned a lot. He's probably saying, "Why did I throw away my life on this little girl? No, me, because and so on." And that's was pretty much. Uh, and bear in mind, this is this is what a what the zest of this recording is, because it looked like it's just probably a love love story gone horribly wrong, though, and so on. Because again, the fact that. A on her end, if it's true that she was basically being a gold digger, that she was using this, using him, she paid for paid the um paid, she paid with her life and so on. Not that she deserved it or anything, but again, there's a cautionary t- a tale happens when you try and exp- um, use or exploit the wrong type of person, and and with him, as I said though, it's like you threw away, you just. He got, as was politics was say, he, caught, he had a gal clone of virus really hard. And what basically happened is that he thought with his third leg and he, instead of just being smart enough to not really, smart, smart enough to not get in deep, he did what a lot of Simpson gal clones do and they basically peel up. And the thing you have to bear in mind is that just because you were cupcaking with certain women that you're lusting after, even though you know that they're on some very funny style shit, buying them stuff, doing stuff like them, going an extra mile for them more than you need to. You don't own the women though. Like that's not going to. You don't have possession of the women, and that's why at the end of the days that like, you should realize that. Okay, just see the situation for what it is. Don't be fooled by the pretty face. Just know what the situation is, and bear in mind, just know that. Okay, this girl would not likely have given me the time of day if. She knows that I didn't have money in my pocket or things to give her and so on. And the thing is that if he had thought, I'm sure if he thought differently, he wouldn't be in situation though. Cause, and the thing is, I'm not, really, I'm not going to keep saying, okay, hey, older men, older women should be involved with younger men, younger women. But unfortunately, in this day and age, unfortunately, Jamaica and a lot of, and a lot of other places know that nine times out of ten, the younger one, the younger person, they're just looking for a come up. They're not looking... Out for you because oh we see this as your lifetime type partner they said okay we see that this old geezer or geezer um they have one foot in the grave already and down the road so i might as well just stick them for what they have and then when they're out of the way or if, or if i no longer need them i can go spend money with the person i want to be with who's most likely going to be in their age group just saying that's that's a takeaway i got from this now again I could be true, this could be true, or not true, all right? If anyone, when I post this one, say, hey, this is true, or this is not true, feel free, all right? But that's pretty much what I say. It's a very tragic story, and it, but the thing is, like I said, like, this is just, I you know, there's just a lot of cases like this, and the thing is that there are lessons to be learned on both sides, with the male and the female from cases like this, so... This is for State of Jamaica and the Caribbean. Check out my YouTube pages. Miles Goose and Farron. Miles is Productions and Real Thoughts and Miles. All right.